Um, so here's here's you know the idea of like whether standardized tests is is good in effect in measuring the abilities of the student. In, in my opinion, I really don't agree with that because um, when you look into standardized tests, it doesn't you know give sort of the it doesn't measure the abstract uh, characteristics or skills such as collaboration or such as uh, creativity. You know. It, it sort of uh, puts you into this like box that you, you're not able to uh, it's just only like if you don't get a good score you're not good or you're that you're stupid you know that's kind of like what I think you know so yeah so um, standardized tests are effective in a, uh, so many ways it makes the student work better and waste less time it's uh, cost is less than 0.1 of the total education of a student from kindergarten up to his uh, 12th grade. Um, and it would be kind of stupid to think that one test could measure every ability of a student. It, for sure the standardized test won't measure every aspect of a student and every ability, but uh, it gives you a concrete way to measure the, the student's abil uh, academic abilities, uh, especially in uh, uh, English and um, uh, math. It also measures his uh, his or her uh, critical thinking. Um, so about abstract and uh, I, uh, abstract intellectual ab abilities of a student, uh, it can be measured in other ways. Standardized tests should not be the only measure, uh, but it's uh, definitely a good measure, an effective measure uh, that can be done among other things that can measure other abilities. Well, I mean, yeah, sure, like, it, it could be used for certain things, but if we're talking about, like, the world standards and, like, what what the world needs right now, when you look into the businesses of, like, Google or Tesla or uh, I, uh, Apple or, you know, these uh, very big companies, you can see it's all about, it's mostly, it's not all, uh, but it's mostly on the idea of, like, how creative can you be or how well can you collaborate with your colleague or your peers uh, and you know it's more on that rather than oh or did you get a good SAT score or, you know which kind of seems a little very it's not really a good indicator of uh, you know uh, whether are you good or not good you know? um, standardized tests um, for sure it, it kind of measures some of your creativity to find uh, and comprehension to find uh, important parts in uh, text and so on and to understand things clearly. Um, the point about uh, companies and what skills do they need, if you think that uh, that way, uh, then what's the point of the whole education? Why don't just uh, a kid who's uh, five years old uh, just study uh, how to code before he even uh, count numbers? It's not, uh, it, it can be do, uh, done that way. So in order to have a creative thinking, you kind of need uh, math, you kind of need English, you kind of, you need to have a language to be able, even language is important in every aspect to be, uh, to be able to communicate what you have, your skills, your, uh, your information, your ability, so on, to other people, and to understand other people, and uh, to get to the main points. Without language, there will be no knowledge anymore, right. everyone will have his very limited amount of knowledge, and without math, probably math not only it's not only for the purpose of math but also for opening your creative thinking and solving problems when you solve prob problems and so on in math it uh, activates parts of your brain that are important in a lot of fields well I mean you do kind of have a point on that but uh, okay you're t you're kind of also kind of putting you're going to the side of like the school system um, well I mean if you actually would see one of the most famous uh, people, uh, what they have said about the educational system, and not only that, but like standardized tests. Uh, uh, Albert Einstein here, he said, everybody is a genius, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it's stupid. So what we can, you know, see from this is that you can see you have a fish, and then, of course, it doesn't, like, it doesn't really match, because, you know, a fish can't climb a tree, so if you put... Uh, if you uh, sort of measure everyone by how able, how capable are they in climbing a tree, of course, 
it's not gonna like uh, work well you know also if you're talking about like doctors for example uh, for, 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 for example doctors uh, doctors can't prescribe one uh, one prescription or one medicine to every single patient that they that they receive uh, well if he would do that there would be a lot of uh, deaths and a lot of uh, tragedies that would happen you know so Albert Einstein's uh, words are correct. Everyone has his own abilities, has his own characteristics that will make him able to be uh, a genius and uh, be very creative and great in a specific field, right? Uh, but I don't see how that contradicts uh, Stendhal's test. Uh, Stendhal's test. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, Stendhal's test. Uh, make a quick way to um, measure important uh, characteristics and important abilities of the student. As I just said before, abilities to uh, solve math, to problem solving, to communicate, all these are important skills. So you can't, a, a human, I, in my point of view, a human can't live without these skills. I mean, live, live normal and communicate, uh, communicate with other people. And doctors, for example, yeah, Dr. Tant prescribe a specific medicine for everyone, but they sure have a few things that are very important that everyone do. Like, for example, uh, cleaning your hands, you know? Mm -hmm. It's for everyone. Um, how, how, some, how to uh, avoid a pandemic or so on, it's... Yeah, there are a few things that can be generalized, with few exceptions for sure, and others that aren't uh, very uh, generalized. Uh, and I guess that um, sunrise tests are one of the things that can be generalized on uh, most people. And as we have seen over tens of years, uh, a lot of colleges have chosen students um, based on these tests and uh, these students were successful later. Um, so let's see for if you can measure the people who uh, got the best scores you can see that over time they learned habits, instant rises, learned them habits like uh, not, uh, not to waste time and so on, that helps them in later life to be more successful. Uh -huh. yeah. Interesting, I kind of do agree with some parts of what you said. So. And I guess we can come to, uh, we can come to a sort of a middle ground to what we are kind discussing of. about. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, okay uh, let's conclude over now and thank you for this thank debate. You, thank you.